Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. Today we're going to be building a 2.5 to 1 scale M1A2 Abrams main battle tank. And this is the set V3 variant, the standard one, not the one with the APS trophy system. So um, yeah, we're trying out a different scale this time. I've built the Abrams tank so many times on this channel. We have like four or five variants, but I just want to try out this larger scale 2.5 to 1 scale. Uh, just to see what it would be like and what other details we could add because you know 1.5 to 1 scale can be limiting for like smaller builds like tanks especially like you know the sherman tank but yeah let's go take a look at this build um so right over here we have the 120 millimeter smooth bore gun along with the coaxial machine gun that little place is where the driver sits and these are supposed to be uh the headlights we got some mud flaps for the treads and we got some tie down rings to tie them down to like flatbed cars or tow them. Here's a look at the wheel design here on the side, 3D effect. And then over here we got like the IFF plates as the combat identification panels used by the US Army and Marine Corps and their allies to distinguish them from the enemy. So they give off this infrared signature which is easy to identify and it reduces friendly fire incidents. I believe it was first used in the Iraq war. We also have a tow chain down here. Here's a smoke grenade launcher using candles. And here we got this, um, which is actually on a lot of Abrams tank nowadays. It's like this shield gun turret thing, which I see so many times. And then right over here, we got this machine gun. So it's uh, pretty beefy compared to the original one. And we got some antennas here in the back. Uh, we got the two hatches um, if you guys do want to add an interior you can because there is some room inside actually let's get out of here close that up and then here in the back we got this like basket you could put in like ammo stuff and there's like a secondary basket over here for the set v3 and then in the back we got the engine exhaust and this for the turbine gas turbine engine that's what the abrams tank uses as well as some tail lights Cool, some mud flaps, and there also is a spare wheel here on the side. So definitely a lot of detail went into this, and you know it's my first 2.5 to 1 scale, so I don't really have that much experience in building in this large scale. So that was uh, pretty cool. This so would be a cool build to showcase as a display model. Maybe if you're building in survival, you can even live inside of it because it's actually pretty big. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this 2.5 to 1 scale Abrams tank. Uh, if this video is popular, maybe I'll try some other builds that will be quite hard in 1.5 one scale, especially things like, you know, the Humvee, the Sherman tank, and maybe like a Leopard tank. That would be cool. It would be cool just to have like some showcase builds. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. And if you do enjoy this build, make sure you hit that like button down below if you want to support the channel. Anyways, let's grab the materials and get started. So let's take out polished deep slate slab, stairs, and then a spruce fence, um, smooth sandstone slab and block, and stairs, a uh, dark oak sign, a burnt sign. All right, so first off, we're gonna place down this smooth sandstone slab. It's gonna be two blocks above the ground like this. And then uh, we're gonna make it so it's 15 blocks long, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we're gonna make it three blocks wide. And right now we are just making one side of it. So this is actually gonna be the middle. Alright, next up we're gonna take out smooth sense and slab. And we'll add one dagly up. Make it three blocks wide like this. And above it we'll add in three blocks wide, smooth sandstone blocks. And then two smooth sandstone slabs here in the middle. And a smooth sandstone stairs here on the side, upside down. All right, then underneath here, we'll add in a spruce fence gate, open that up. And then we'll add in our polished deep slate slab. We're going to add in two here. Then add in two dark oak signs with a birch sign here on the side. And then we'll go diagonally down, add in polished deep slate block, two blocks wide like this. And then a polished deep slate slab on the outside part. And then polished deep slate stairs upside down, two blocks wide. Just like that. All right, next we'll take out smooth sandstone block. Add one here. 
And then we'll add in two polished blackstone brick stairs facing towards the back. And then a smooth sandstone block here. And then polished blackstone brick stairs. And we want to go to the back here. And we're going to add in a smooth sandstone block to the side of that. And then skip block, add one here. And then skip block, add one here. And then we want to make it so it's going to be like six of these. So three, four, five, six, like that. And then go here in the front, add one as well here, and make them stick out by one block here. That. And then we're going to add in spruce buttons to the sides of all these blocks. All right. Then we will go um, line up underneath each of these, you know, rows here and then we'll add in another smooth um, sandstone block on the inside of that all right then the back here we'll add in smooth sandstone slab and upper slab here and we'll make this go all the way across to the middle then we're going to add in polished deep slate slab we're going to add in one here diagonally up another two and then smooth quartz i mean smooth sandstone stairs facing towards the front like that and then we'll add in a polished deep slate slab underneath here and we are going to add one underneath each of these wheels here on the bottom level of them and for the rest of these wheels we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs facing the back in between like that um, except the last one I think we'll leave the last one alone and then we'll add in this polished deep slate stairs so it sticks out outwards like this and once you get to this point, you, you know, you can actually do it like that. So it faces this direction so that they don't connect. And it, I purposely uh, made it so the stairs aren't inside because there is a, a little spike that uh, goes over the wheels that sticks out in the middle. It's not on the outside part, so it's embedded. Anyways, next up, we'll add in smooth sandstone blocks on the inside layer of this. Uh, for this part, yeah, I'll just leave it like that for now. And then over here, we can add in an andesite um, slab with a birch um, trap door right in front of it. Right over here, we're going to actually move this in one block, apparently. And we're going to add in smooth sandstone stairs here. And we're going to add in upside down smooth sandstone stairs there. And then two andesite walls on the diagonal and then a birch trap door right there. Then andesite walls in between each of these wheels, like that. And then behind this, we'll add in a cut sandstone block right there. All right, then to side, we can add in another polish uh, deep slate slab. So it kind of lines up with all these other. And we'll actually delete this um, block here, add in there. And we'll also delete this slab here, add in polish deep slate slab like that. Then over here, we're going to add dark oak sign, two blocks wide. And then three birch planks over here. One, two, three. Add a birch fence gate, open that up. And then two blocks wide. Birch shop doors. Then over here, we'll add in a cut sandstone block. And then smooth sandstone block next to it. And then a two by three of smooth sandstone slabs like that. Then we'll take out cut sandstone block and we're going to add in another five to this. So one, two, three, four, five, then go down at cut sandstone block. And we're going to make this go all the way across the bottom row, just like this to the front. And then we'll add a cut sandstone block here. And then we'll add in two blocks wide birch trap doors like that. And then a two by two of smooth sandstone slabs here. Then we'll go back over here. We'll add in four smooth sandstone stairs. And then cut sandstone slabs all the way across to the front. And then we'll add in a birch button right underneath here. And then we'll take out a daylight detector. Add one next to this for the light. Close this trap door up. And we'll add in um, smooth sandstone blocks. So it's a two by three here. And then we'll add in a row of birch trap doors. So skip block. Right here and then three blocks wide of daily detectors just like that then we'll add in a birch um, slab in the middle 
and then smooth sandstone slab right behind it. Fill this all in to the edge like that. Then we're going to add in two blocks wide, smooth sandstone block, smooth sandstone slab two here, another smooth sandstone slab there, a smooth sandstone block here, and another smooth sandstone block like that. All right, next we'll go to the back and we'll add in a redstone torch here, birth sign inside, and a flower pot right above that torch. Over on the side, we can add in smooth sandstone slab here, and then a birch um, slab like that. All right, next to the back, we're gonna skip a block, add in two by three, smooth sandstone slabs like that. Then we'll add in the middle, birch um, plank, and a birch slab on top. And behind it, we'll add in a birch uh, fence right there. And we're going to extend it so it goes one block on the outside part of the hole. All right, next we're going to add in smooth sandstone slab. It's going to go diagonally down from this fence all the way to the middle here. And then go diagonally up, add in another birch fence in the middle like that. And alongside, we're going to add in three of these sandstone walls like that. Next, we're going to add on the inside of this um, smooth sandstone blocks. So it goes four blocks wide like that. And then smooth sandstone stairs on the edge of that like so. And then the middle part, we're going to make that 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And then add a lever right there and add a lever here in the back. The back here in the front, we'll add in our smooth sandstone slab here and then a birch trap door like that. Right underneath, we'll add in smooth sandstone slab. And I'm going to make this nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At the edge, we'll add in um, this birch button like that. Then go back here, skip a block and add in two blocks wide of smooth sandstone slabs like that. In the back here, we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs upside down, facing the front, and another one upside down facing towards it. Just like that, another stairs right on top like that. And then a smooth sandstone block next to it, smooth sandstone stairs right there. And then a smooth sandstone slab. We're gonna make this go all the way across to the back like that. And then we'll add in smooth um, sandstone block right here, smooth sandstone slab here, and then smooth sandstone stairs like that. And then we'll go to the back, add in smooth sandstone slab there, and then smooth sandstone block so it connects to the front all the way across just like that. All right, next we'll add in smooth sandstone slab right here, and then a sandstone wall here with candles on top. We want to max them out like that. And then smooth sandstone block right on top. And we are going to extend it to the back. And then we'll add in smooth sandstone block on the inside of this. And then smooth sandstone slabs just covering up the rest of the roof in just like that. And on the inside part as well, add in smooth sandstone slabs in just like that. Then in the back, we'll add in smooth sandstone slab here. And then three upside down smooth sandstone stairs like that. And then smooth sandstone blocks, I mean slabs all the way across the bottom row of this and fill in this part as well like that. All right, next we'll add in iron bar here. Make that five blocks tall. So four and then five. And then diagonally inside, we'll add in um, two blocks wide of these birch pressure plates. And on the edge, we'll add in these three birch buttons spaced apart like that. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate over here, open them up. Then another two birch fence gates, another birch fence gate here, two on diagonal. And then a birch um, fence right here, another fence right there. And then two blocks wide birch uh, planks. And then two blocks wide of birch slabs like that for the combat identification panel. Then we're going to go to the lever here, skip block, add a birch button 
skip block birch button again. Then down here we'll add in these two chains, one, two like that, as well as the birch sign to the side. Then we'll go to the back, skip these two fences, add a birch fence, and then the birch trapdoor, close it up here. And then a smooth sandstone slab here with a birch sign right there. All right, so that's pretty much it for the symmetrical part. So copy everything that we did here and build the other half. All right, once you have both halves, it should look like this. Then we'll go to the back and we'd extend this part on this side so it's wider. And we're also gonna go down here and add in three polished blackstone brick blocks with walls sticking out and slabs on top. And then two blocks wide birch then two blocks wide sandstone walls, and then two blocks wide birch slabs on top like that. And we're also going to extend this one so it's two blocks wide. And we'll also add in a birch trap doors right above this box here, three blocks wide, like that. And then we'll go to the side here. And this is optional, it's basically like this tire. I did use a debug stick to sort of make it though. So maybe it might not look good, I don't know, it depends on what you think. Delete this one here, actually delete these two. Add upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs, slab underneath, and wall on the side of it, and dark oak sign. I mean trap door right above it. So that's how it looked like. I used the debug stick so to make it connect, so. Yeah, um, anyways, next up, let's go over here. We're gonna add in a cut sandstone uh, slab. So we're gonna uh, make a V shape right here right where that pressure plate is. The other one, add another V-shape here. We're gonna make this one a plus sign like that. Inside of this, we could punch in a hole for both of them and add in a birch trap door and open up this one. In real life, this commander's hatch, I think, this one you could fill this in with a slab if you want it closed, make it more elevated. Anyways, next up, we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs here. A birch fence get on top, open it up, and chain sticking out, and sandstone walls on the sides of that, like that. Then we'll go over here, we'll add in these two smooth sandstone stairs, so the second one's going to be cornered. Then two cut sandstone slabs alongside it. On top we'll add in an anvil, dark oak fence gate here, another fence gate behind it, open it up. Two blocks long of sandstone walls, then two blocks long chain sticking out, and then a birch sign to the side of it. All right, and then the front we're gonna add the coaxial machine gun, just an end rod sticking out right there, and then we'll actually go in the back here underneath the turret right here. This is gonna be another birch a slab here, and the rest of this is going to be smooth. Sandstone slabs all the way across. Just a little vent. It's a little minor detail though. All right, then we'll go to the front of this, skip a block, and add smooth sandstone uh, stairs like that. And if you want to, you can add in like an item frame, maybe block inside of it if you want to make it darker. And then we'll go inside over here and add in stripped uh, birch wooding. You know, you can close it up, open it up if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to make the M1A2 Abrams tank set V3 in Minecraft in 2.5 to 1 scale. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below to help the algorithm. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.